So this is uh, question number 34 from IIT JAM 2022 paper. So it says that let S be the set of functions uh, f in this real space R belong to R. So we have the equation of this f of x mod of f of x minus f y mod whole square it is less than equal to x minus y whole cube and x y belongs to this r right so if we divide both side of the equation by mod of x minus y whole square so what we will find what we will get so this f of x minus f of y by x minus y mod this is whole square is less than equal to x minus y mod right so this is the okay, if I uh, okay so this will be the equation mod of x minus y now if we put limit extends to y on both side of the equation so this is the form that limit x tends to y so here is the same thing this x tends to y so what will be the result so you can uh, do one thing that this uh, x equal to y so it will be so this limit x tends to y it will be fx minus fy by x minus y whole square so it will be simply f derivative of x mod less than equal to 0 right so mod is less than any the square uh, is less than equal to 0 so if you do anything of a square so it should not be less than 0 so we can uh, even without the mod if we just discard the mod so f square uh, the f uh, derivative of square is less than equal to 0 so the derivative is 0 so the integral fx should be f prime x the derivative should be 0 right the square is 0 so fx should be 0 and so the function fx is a constant c now see the option that every function in s is differentiable so let us check what is a differentiable function so we have this Yes. So the different differentiable so that is a, a function is differentiable when a function is said to be differentiable when whose derivative exists at each point in its domain. Right? The so derivative will exist at each point so yes. derivative will exist right so this is the differential function so since the function is derivative exists so the option a is correct every function in s is differentiable option b and c will be not will be incorrect and let us check with the d that it is infinitely differentiable so differentiable function is actually a smooth and there is no break or cusp is there in the differentiable function and infinitely differentiable function is so that is we can write that infinitely
differentiable function so this function is is a constant function can be an in infinitely differentiable because all of its derivative will be zero right so this is a constant function you can see so d is also correct so in our uh, example of this uh, question number 34 the correct option will be a and d so question number 35 it is saying that a real valued function y x defined on this real space is said to be periodic if there exists a real number such that it is greater than 0 and the we know that is the periodic condition condition for any function to be periodic the y x plus t is equal to y x so uh, let us consider the differential equation given over here so it will be d to y dx2 plus 4y sin of ax right so we can simply write this equation as d square plus 4y sin of ax so if we do that d square plus 4 equal to 0 so to find the value of d so it will be plus minus 2 of i right so we can write the complementary function the cf as this c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x right so this is a periodic function and this is also a periodic function the sum will be a periodic function the cf will be a it will be periodic right now check with the pi so what we can write this 1 by d square plus 4 sin of ax now here we can take two condition you can see the interval so we can in the option that uh, the r and the q the, so we can just write it in this way that if i have a condition suppose if a is equal to plus minus 2 So how can we write this equation then? So we will do the derivative of this. If you can recall, so it will be. So if I this d square, so minus of a square by four. So if I put two, it will be one by zero. So we have to do the derivative. So it will be two d. X will be there for the derivative below. Sine of a x, right? Now, if we do the integral, so it will be minus of x by 2 a cos of a x. Right? This is not a periodic function. Okay. So from the first solution you can get that all the solution of this particular differential equation are periodic for every choice of A. So it is not true. Now if we took the second condition that A is not equal to plus minus 2. So we can write the equation as Pi as one by minus a square plus four sine of a x right 
Now, if we write the general solution, suppose the solution is the, the general solution as the, so it will be PI plus CF. So, first write the cos of 2x plus C2 sin of 2x. If you take the minus out of this, so it will be 1 by a square minus 4 sin of ax. So, from this, you can get an idea this which of the function will be periodic and which will not be a periodic function. So, this cos 2x, so the period of this cos 2x is 2 pi by 2. So, it is periodic in pi. Similarly, for sin 2x, periodic with pi, okay. And for this function sin of a x, so this will be period will be 2 pi by a. Now, consider that period of this trigonic, trigonometric functions is sin of a x, it cannot be the period cannot be irrational. It cannot be rational, right? So, from here you can see the option, just checking the options is saying that. So, all the solution of this differential equation is periodic for every choice of this real and the natural number. So, it will be belong to this A will belong to Q. Okay. So, A will belong to Q. Will be all of rational numbers, set of all rational numbers because the trigonometric function cannot be rational, right? Okay, so this is C is correct, and let us check with the option D. So, if R A is belongs to this R minus of Q, so there, there is a unique periodic solution of the differential equation. So, since there is a unique periodic solution, we have already find this uh, beforehand. So, in this solution, you can see the general solution. The CF, can you, you can consider the CF. So, this is the CF part, right? And this is the PI part. This is, uh, the whole of this is not periodic, it is a periodic. But in consider the CS, where the CF you can see, so this is an entirely periodic solution, right? And there exists only one periodic solution. There will not be any other periodic solution. So in our case, so this is a unique periodic solution. Okay, so in our case, the option D is also correct. So, to find which of this following is true, are true, is or are true. So, in our case, the option, this particular question 35, the option C and option D, they both are correct.